Hi there, Rachel Jane Groover here, you're watching Awaken TV, and we're still here in Melbourne, Australia. This week we are doing a six-day teacher training level two for our Art of Feminine Presence. So I am feeling more in my yin, I'm feeling very relaxed and uh, feeling a lot better than I did last week when I shot that video um, when I was feeling really, really tired. But the funny thing is I got so many great compliments. I was thinking, well, maybe I should be more tired more often. If you haven't seen that video last week on the blog, it was one of the most watched and commented videos and I was uh, feeling really crappy. But it was a great reminder, a great experiment of how to do something when you don't really want to do something. But this week is different. I'm um, in a really great space and I've just had a break of lunchtime for day one of our teacher training level two. And I wanted to share something that I've been seeing over the last few months that uh, could be a great practice for you. Just a really quick and easy thing to look at because you are on the awakening path. Right? You are on the path of being in response, conscious response to what's happening, conscious creation of your life versus continuous reaction of what's happening and be in the roller coaster emotion ride or, um, you know, just always being in reaction to things. And we do, my, da my husband, daughter and I do transformational experiences all around the world. And in those experiences, part of our job or part of just the field, the energetic field of doing those things is people's stuff comes up, right? Their, their soul knows they're about to be held in a space where something can be visible, something can be held and their stuff comes up. And what happens that we see is everyone deals with that differently. They, everyone has different fixations of where their attention goes when they don't feel safe, when they don't feel like, oh, this is just normal status quo, I'm about to grow or I'm about to have something that was a blind spot really shown in my face. And um, this started, we've been on a big whirlwind tour of, of events. It started in Denver. In mid-September, we had our Awaken Your Impact. And it was one of the most powerful trainings that we had done to date, where a lot of people were having much more things come up and were asked to risk because if you are wanting to awaken and wanting to grow, wanting to create more in your life, there's no way around the risk. That might be the mini risk of, um, you know, just believing in yourself and, and wanting something more or the risk of putting your message out there or, or what have you. And so we're asking people to risk all year long in transformational experiences in order to grow. But risk makes you feel unsafe at some degree. At least it makes the small part of you feel unsafe. The larger part of you is having a good old time. It knows your potential. It's tuned in and it's aligned, but the small part gets gets unsafe. And so what we noticed happening um, all through Awaken was people would come out the room and just complain about the littlest of things, not about the training, but just the the tissues and the and the cups and the this wasn't here in time and and just these little niggly things and we're like what's going on what's going on here you know people don't usually complain about these little things everyone was very you know antsy and 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 mental not everyone but we saw more than usual then we went to our next event and as we're growing we are bringing more transformation into these workshops. And the same thing was happening. More people complaining about the littlest of things, you know, again, nothing to do really with the training, but the the environment or the air conditioning or, or something like that. And it's continued to happen that these little complaints and I just wanted you to notice this week how little minuscule complaints about your life, about the people around you, about the environment are a really good distraction to how much fear you are feeling. If you have just risked something or you are about to expand into something else, you're either conscious about it or not conscious about it, your small self is going to go into some fear. And if you resist spending time just being present in the fear, you will find a way to deflect that and it will come out in not so good ways. And complaining, little niddly nitpicky things we've seen happen when people get ready for that jump and ready for that, that big risk and movement into what they want to do. 
So where do you complain? Who are you complaining about? How many little, little things that don't really matter at all, they don't matter, do you complain about? And can you see the correlation between your complaint and the fear because you've just leaped or you've just said to someone you love, I'm going to go for this or I'm going to expand, right? We create safe problems to avoid risky decisions. We, we create safe problems to avoid a risky move and complaining little things. I'm not talking about things that um, really need to be said and, and dealt with and all of that, but just those little niggly nitpicky things are a great way to get the attention off the fear that you are feeling as you risk. So that's my tip. Look for that this week. And I want to just thank everyone that's been with us on this Australian tour. We've met hundreds of people over the last few weeks. We're in the final few days of our trainings here. And I want to honor all of you that we have seen risk something, move into something greater, expand in ways. Thank you so much for being the courageous few on this planet that say, you know, my vision, my mission, my power, what I'm being called to do is much bigger than my fear. We really celebrate you this week. Thanks everyone so much. I'll get back to the training room. Have a great week. Thanks for watching Awaken TV. Bye for now.